This is lesson 4.6, isosceles and equilateral triangles. Your objectives are to use properties of isosceles triangles and to use properties of equilateral triangles. An isosceles triangle has two congruent sides. Those sides are called the legs. The third side is called the base. The angle between the two legs is called the vertex angle. And the two angles at the base are called the base angles. The base angles are congruent. That's one of the properties of an isosceles triangle. One way to consider that is that the angles that are opposite the congruent sides are the congruent angles. So consider the sides that are congruent draw to the other side of the triangle and those angles are the congruent ones. Vice versa, if you know that a triangle has two congruent angles, draw to the opposite side and those two sides are congruent. So it works both ways. In a triangle, if two sides are congruent, then the angles opposite those sides are congruent and in a triangle, if two angles are congruent, then the sides opposite those angles are congruent. Find the value of each variable. Number one, this triangle has two congruent sides and we're given some angle measures. Well remember, when a triangle has two congruent sides, that the angles opposite those sides are also congruent. So those two angles are the congruent ones. If angle Q is a 2x degree measure, then angle R also has a 2x degree measure. Now how can you find x? I can't say 2x equals 2x. That won't get me anywhere. But what do you know about the angles of a triangle? The three angles of a triangle add up to 180. So let's do that. 2x plus 2x plus 40 equals 180. Now solve for x. 2x plus 2x is 4x. Subtract 40 from each side. And divide by 4. So x is 35. Remember, the sides that are congruent, if you go to the angles opposite those sides, those angles are also congruent. And remember that the three angles of a triangle add up to 180. Number two. In this triangle, we have two congruent angles. Well, remember, if two angles are congruent, then the sides opposite those angles are also congruent. So we know that those two sides are the same, so make their measures equal each other. 2x plus 6 equals 3x minus 6. When two angles are the same, their opposite sides are also the same. Now solve for x. Subtract 2x from each side. 6 equals x minus 6. Add 6 to each side. And x is 12. So when you have two angles in a triangle that are congruent, the sides opposite those angles are also congruent. So make their measures equal each other. Number four. I have a triangle with two congruent sides. Well, remember, if two sides are congruent, then the angles opposite those sides are also congruent. Angle A has a measure of 6x plus 6, which means that angle C also has a measure of 6x plus 6. Those two angles are congruent. Now I don't want to say that 6x plus 6 equals 6x plus 6 because that won't get me anywhere. But what do you know about the three angles of a triangle? They all add up to equal 180. So there's your equation. Add the three angles up to equal 180 and solve for x. Combine like terms, 2x plus 6x plus 6x is 14x, 6 plus 6 is 12.
subtract 12 from each side. And divide each side by 14. X equals 12. So in a triangle, when two sides are congruent, their opposite angles are congruent. And in a triangle, when two angles are congruent, their opposite sides are congruent. When triangles are equilateral, all three sides are congruent. And when all three sides are congruent, all three angles are also congruent. When all three angles are congruent, since they each are the same and they all add up to 180, then each of those angles has a 60 degree measure. So in an equilateral triangle, it's also equiangular, and each angle measure is 60 degrees. Find the value of each variable. Number one, this is an equilateral triangle because all sides are congruent. When all sides are congruent, all angles are congruent. And those angle measures are all 60 degrees. So if those angle measures are 60 degrees, and one of them is also 6x, what does that mean? Well, it means that 6x has to equal 60. Since they're the measure of the same angle, solve for x. Divide each side by 6 and x is 10. When all sides of a triangle are congruent, then all angles are congruent, and they each have a measure of 60 degrees. Number two, in this triangle, all angles are congruent. And when all angles are congruent, then all the sides are congruent as well. Which means that any two of those side measures have to be the same. Since we're working with two of them, let's make those measures equal each other. 6x minus 5 equals 5x. Since those sides are congruent, their measures are equal. Solve for x. We can subtract 6x from each side. Negative 5 equals negative x. And if negative 5 equals negative x, then x equals positive 5. When all angles are the same, then all sides are the same. So make their measures equal. Number five. This triangle has two congruent sides. So remember, the measures of the angles opposite those congruent sides are also the same. When two sides are congruent, then two angles are congruent that are opposite those sides. One of those angle measures is 60 degrees. Since they all add up to 180, 180 minus 60 is 120. So you have 120 degrees split between the two remaining angles. Since they're the same, 120 divided by 2, they're 60 degrees apiece. So those are both 60 degree angles. Now look. All the angles now are 60 degrees, which means all of the angles in that triangle are congruent, which means all of the sides in that triangle are congruent. Now I have a mark on the side that says 4x minus 4, so I can use it, pair it up with 3x plus 8. Since all angles are congruent, then all sides are congruent, and those two side measures are the same. 3x plus 8 equals 4x minus 4. Originally, there was no mark on 4x minus 4. But once I sorted out my angle measures, I was able to mark it congruent to the other one. Now solve for x. Subtract 3x from both sides. And add 4 to each side. x is 12. So since two sides were the same, those opposite angles were the same. We already had 60 degrees taken care of, so the two remaining angles had to add up to 120. They were the same, so they're each 60. 
That gives all angles the same, which means all sides are the same, and the measures of those sides have to be equal. So just remember, in a triangle, if any sides are congruent, then their opposite angles are congruent. And in a triangle, if any angles are congruent, their opposite sides are congruent. Remember the three angles add up to 180, so you can use that to find certain angle measures. And when sides are congruent, their measures are equal, so you can make those equal each other and solve.